As you know, Tobruk has been besieged by the Axis since April. Rommel has been stalled just inside Egypt, unable to advance due to his logistical problems and the strain the siege of Tobruk has placed on his limited manpower. This stalemate is about to end. Benefiting from large reinforcement and Rommel's lack of momentum, you are to launch Operation Crusader. Your goal is to penetrate the Axis perimeter and relieve Tobruk. Rommel has trounced us time and again, and this operation must advance with fair caution. But the weight of our metal should gain us the win this time. There are specific tactical goals that must be met in the course of this operation. To establish that a secure land link with Tobruk has indeed been made, you must escort three Service Corps truck units to the area designated A on your map. A further task involves the use of paratroopers. There is an Axis airfield marked B. The airborne units must destroy its attached hangar and do so within seven turns. If Crusader succeeds, Rommel will have no choice but to abandon the siege and redeploy west of Tobruk. Off with you, old chap, and press on to the finish. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my playthrough of Panzer Corps, the Allied Corps campaign. This is the 1940 campaign that I started. This is the 10th scenario in that campaign. And without further ado, let's get started here. This is Operation Crusader, and this is a tough one. Oh, very nice. Another elite unit. So we picked up an SAS unit. That'll help us out quite a bit. We have quite a few upgrades and things that can be made this particular uh, scenario and I think we probably will take advantage of them. I want my aircraft in tip-top condition, I'll tell you that, because there are some aircraft and some... Um, definitely <laughs> some areas where I could use some better aircraft, so... I will tell you that the Wellington is not the best bomber. Uh, however, it does have quite a lot of fuel, and that really benefits me quite a bit, as well as having eight shots before it has to go back and refuel, that's also pretty good. So I will go ahead and benefit from that. This is a tough decision. So you can either go for just a Crusader upgrade, which is an upgrade in and of itself in terms of fuel and ammunition, as well as with this air defense. Yep. Um, or you can go for the fuel, the ammo, and the ground defense, which I prefer, or close defense rather, which I prefer. But you do lose a little bit of movement when you take these Mark One and Twos. You could, of course, go the Valentine, and this one has not only reduced movement, but reduced fuel, not much, and reduced ammunition, which is about a third of its ammunition gets reduced. However, you do get a bonus to close defense, air defense, as well as ground defense, and I think that might be the way to go. Um, hmm, interesting. Actually, the Churchill is significantly harder to kill but it moves four spaces. It has more fuel though, and it has more ammunition, but man, is it expensive. It is not cheap. Um, hmm. Technically, the Matilda's the best upgrade due to price, just barely. Fuel increase is decent, and of course you get some massive defense bonuses, but I think I'm gonna go with the Churchill for our tanks. And I might regret this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I really, really need good ground defense, and I need to be able to survive the attacks that will inevitably be thrown at me in this particular mission, so let's go ahead and upgrade our artillery as well. And our artillery is already pretty decent, but this is just, I mean, 7.2 inches is really, really large shells to be firing, so we definitely want those. Forgot to do the, uh, the replacements for these boys. Okay, so we've got two extra units that we can purchase, and I can tell you that the amount of tanks that I'm going to be facing, I definitely want two more tanks, I think, to fill those gaps, just because I feel like those will be very useful to me in this particular scenario. And I want to get the scout car somewhat in the front. Okay. Aircraft deployment's not all that important because they get to move so far. So with this up here, I'm probably not going to do much. I'm going to leave these guys just about where they are. I'm not going to try to move anywhere or do anything really. 
Um, in terms of the paratroopers, I am going to get them going right away. We only have seven turns to get them to their destination, so... This one, however, I'm not going to move that way. I'm actually going to move it this way. And that's to protect that town over there in case the soldiers from the left-hand side of the map try to take it from me. And I, it, <laughs> it is possible they could do that, so... Okay, so we've got a Panzer 2F, I believe, up here. We need to hit him with our bomber. Okay, reasonable. up with the artillery here and obviously we want to protect our bomber a little bit as well as some of our more valuable assets including our artillery pieces and I think that's going to do it for this turn we're not going to like I said we're not going to try too much obviously we have to take this out to get out of here now I could go this way and try to sweep around and try to get through these guys but with the limited resources I have, which is three infantry units and a couple of artillery units, I just don't see that being possible. So I think what we're going to need to do is push forward toward the top of the map and then make my way left. Rommel is way heavy in here. He's got, I don't know, at least six or seven tank units, three or four, maybe five infantry, some artillery, etc. So he's very dangerous and not to be underestimated. He earned a reputation and in this game he lives up to that reputation. Okay, Italian fighter there. A little scout car trying to pick on us here. Kind of didn't go anywhere but he tried. I always want to destroy units with these pillboxes because they're non-core units yes and so are these that's true but if a pillbox gets destroyed it's not really that useful anyway it can't move it can't really do anything other than hold a space so that the enemy can't do anything with it so I'm not all that concerned if a pillbox gets taken out okay so Churchill making short work of him now they're gonna come pretty heavy to the left I don't know exactly when they will do that, but it will be very soon, I assure you. So I definitely want to have quite a bit of artillery and whatnot in position when that happens. Very nice. Darn near took them out completely before he even had a chance to, to do anything on their side side side. And just in case, we'll move our bomber back to the support of our guys there, the support of our fighters. We want to be very careful how we approach that. The paratroopers, believe it or not, are safe down here, even though you've got the tanks that are sitting on the side there. They're actually still safe. Okay, move those guys over a bit here. And I think that's going to be it. Wow. Talk about getting destroyed. That was uh, impressive. Okay, so both scout cars taken out when they tried to force it. Uh, not exactly sure why they did that, but um, they did. So... Okay, so we've got at least Panzer 3s that we can see here. Those are kind of scary, to be honest. Oops, didn't mean to do that. We definitely want to put the hurt on them. Ugh. That's a crappy modifier. 
I mean, I'll take it because it's better than nothing. It's still not really that good. As you can see, they do have quite a bit more armor and whatnot up here. Just kind of lying in wait for us, so we need to be pretty careful how we handle this. I think I'll move him back, and the reason is I don't want him to get hurt too badly. And he's just a scout car, and chances are they're going to hit him from three different directions anyway. So it's better for him to be here instead. Okay, this will be the turn we get our paratroopers into position here. Alright. And I don't see anything that needs to be done up here. So I think we're good there. Hopefully we don't get hit too hard here. Wow, they didn't even move? Really? They have to. Really? That's pretty interesting. Can they not see me? What's his range? He can see me. So he can see my church over there. He knows I'm in the air. That is really interesting. I mean, this is fine by me. I'll just keep destroying these tanks. So if I don't capture the airport, he's going to run out of fuel. That's really not too great, so I'm going to go ahead and not take a chance there. I'm going to retreat him. Uh, gosh. I mean, I have to advance here, but I don't really want to advance too far. This is what scares me, is this kind of crap over here is going to definitely be an issue. I guess the best thing I can do for now is just keep my artillery somewhere where they can be useful. Perfect. Because this is looking really nasty and I've got my weaker units on this side, unfortunately. It is just a scout car, but it's a decent scout car. Panzer II, again, pretty decent, as well as an anti-tank gun, so hopefully we don't just get utterly destroyed over there. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, it is what it is. Really? Okay. That's fine. That's not really a problem. Gotta put the hurt on that hangar as quickly as possible here. And they still haven't done anything here. They still haven't moved at all. It's very peculiar and very unusual. He's going to be out of fuel, so i got to start working on this airport here. I think what I'm going to do is move him this way, and move him this way instead. how this goes. Hopefully we just don't get wrecked right now and just utterly obliterated. He's pretty much in grave danger right now from, gosh, look at all that stuff. Holy crap. That is a massive group of guys. That is pretty worrisome to be honest. Well, there's really not much I can do at this juncture, so we're just going to have to play it by ear. That says I still didn't see that coming. Okay. 
he held that off really well, so... It's unlikely he'll get destroyed. Nope. So we're actually in good shape. Okay, so now... We need this guy out of here this turn. Which I don't think is going to be a problem. It's fine, he's new anyway. He's the commando unit that we got. So shouldn't be a problem. Um, in terms of aircraft, what do we want to do? I think we want to support this side. Holy crap, that was amazing. Good job. Now the question is, do I lay chase to this and try to destroy it? I guess the answer to that is yes. And we didn't get him, which is kind of unfortunate. And the next question is, do I try to do this maneuver? I think I kind of have to, just because I really need to be in a position of strength here, and I really can't do that otherwise, so I'm okay with this. I feel pretty confident about this. The Churchills are very dangerous, so it's pretty unlikely he would try to gain up on one. It's possible. I'm not saying it couldn't happen, because that would be foolish, but it's unlikely. Oops, I don't think I did the damn paratroopers. Alright, we'll still get it. Okay. That's no surprise. They know that the airport's important to me. They're obviously going to attack the most, you know, obvious targets. So. Okay. Oops. Alright, so it was definitely within seven turns. We can now get fuel whenever we need it. Oops. That. Although it turned out really well. Perfect. Get a nice shot in there. And I'll start moving this way with these uh, units because I'm going to leave kind of this section here to clean up these other guys because honestly it's really not that paramount for us right now to hold that. So. Oh, that's baloney. Exercise a little bit of a retreat over here. Start moving our scout cars the other direction. And start moving our infantry and whatnot the other direction as well. Because it's really not that paramount, like I said, for us to keep this area. So the Kavir might screw me here on this section, but if he does, he'll get hit by artillery. So hopefully he doesn't do that. He probably will. The computer's pretty cheesy when it comes to attacks and whatnot, they always know exactly what to do, so we'll see. Even though you shouldn't be able to see this unit, uh, he might do it anyway, so. Okay, so he committed suicide. I don't know exactly why he did that, but... Paratroopers are doing pretty well. 
Uh, they're not chasing us, which is pretty interesting. I don't know why they're not chasing us, but it's fine. Now, if my recollection serves me correctly, I'm pretty sure there is some nasty stuff going on over here somewhere. that there's going to be some anti-aircraft somewhere over here to my left so I don't really want to push it unless I have to because of that. This entrenchment's pretty good so unless they just bring something absolutely devastating it's pretty unlikely that they'll have anything that can dig me out of there easily. So I think what I'll do is start to come up here and really start to work it over here instead. Just because there's really no point in bombing these guys anymore, they're not the main area of concern. So he does have a pretty nasty artillery unit there that has a very long reach. Uh, there's a couple things I could do with that. I could definitely um, get to the point where we're close enough to take him out, which is honestly probably my best bet. Um, I'm going to try to do it in a way that doesn't get us shot up real bad. He's got a three range, so one, two, one, two, three, 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 three. So anywhere in here, he can hit us. And then anything beyond this arc, he can't hit us. So we're still outside of that arc. I'm going to try to take this out first and then move over to that location there. And I think the paratroopers, what I'll have them do is actually have them go north and take this artillery unit out, which will leave these guys vulnerable. And then perhaps I can push out of there as well. Even though there is a town here, it isn't important for me to take it. I'm not going to. It's more important that I break out of here and I'm able to get those trucks down there within the turns that I'm given, which isn't really that many left, so we need to get going here. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to do is pick on this guy. Right with the fence. It's not too good. I didn't see any anti-aircraft over here, so I think another thing we can do is just go ahead and... Oh shoot, that is an anti-aircraft. Oh, I'm blind. That was a pretty big mistake there. Well, that's unfortunate. I suppose that's good. Um, let's go ahead and just start over. Not start over, but start the turnover, because that was a really stupid mistake on my part. I don't know why I did that. Because he does clearly have one there, I just wasn't looking for the mobile one for some reason. Already this turn's going better, so... <laughs> Now this can't receive artillery support from this, so we're actually in a pretty good spot here in terms of packing this anti-aircraft unit. Oh, I guess he did get in. I guess he get, did get a, excuse me, artillery support. I didn't realize he could do that. Okay, well that kind of stinks, but at the same time, 
I'm not really all that concerned about it. Okay, pretty nice. And then we'll use this against the obvious artillery unit here. still good down here. We don't see anybody sneaking up on us or anything, so that's good. They didn't make any attempt to retake those airports or anything, so that's pretty interesting that they didn't. I'm going to abandon them as of this turn, just simply because I no longer need them to do what I'm going to do, so they can have them if they want them. It's actually okay for him to do that. Um, I'm not worried about it. That I'm not really too happy with. Okay, good. They didn't launch any kind of further assault against me, so that's fine. That was way better than I thought it would turn out. Alright. Again, not a problem. Um, I'm going to start moving out a little bit here, because I think that we're pretty safe to do so. If I can get this guy off of this hill here, we will be in a pretty good position to threaten the uh, town that we need to take. Four is pretty good. That's okay. Pretty crappy. There we go. It's more like it. Okay. That will also work just fine. So we're almost through already, to be honest. I could probably try to sneak around this way, but I really don't know if I want to do that. It's risky, because what happens if these guys come from this direction? I mean, I guess I could probably do it. Let's just do it. The good news is, is they move very, very quickly, so we might be able to sneak by without even having any confrontation. That would be really cool. Just because this guy's somewhat weak already, I'm gonna go ahead and retreat him down this way a bit. Okay. Nothing really bad there happened, so we're in good shape still. be able to get him out of there this turn. Yes indeed. And I 
think we're gonna have to wait on this particular area just simply because we're better off to do so. I think we could probably mop up with what we got. I'm gonna send these units to protect our trucks. Okay. So we actually did end up destroying that unit, which is excellent. And that might give us an opportunity to route him out of there completely, so we'll have to see, but chances are it probably will end up being that way. My only concern is these guys getting down here, so hopefully we can do that. We're pretty well dug in. I'm not thinking they're going to do much, but you never know what the computer's up to. So He did still have a lot of units over there, so that's kind of concerning. Here you go. See, that's what I was afraid of. I'm very glad I moved these guys down. See, they're starting to come. Oh boy, we're in trouble. <laughs> he is in trouble. Holy crap. Oh man, that is so not good right there. Well, we're probably going to lose those places over there. to counterattack for them, which I mean I did expect, but oh, man, it's, it's hard to expect some crazy stuff. Luckily we do have some Churchills over here, so hopefully we can hold them off long enough to make a difference here. Oops. What? That's BS. That's also BS. Well, shoot. Um, I mean, these guys are kind of out in the open, so we have no choice but to keep moving them away from the danger. The problem is going to be that this artillery is kind of not in the best of spots now. with that outcome. Interesting. Um, geez, I'm not really happy about this over here, but I mean, to be perfectly honest, there's not a lot I can do. gonna have to collapse in on well I mean he's pretty well dug in so it might just behoove me to leave him there because these guys are now not dug in at all which is kind of a problem because of the way they attacked well let's see what happens I guess oh boy here we go this might be bad
Okay, pretty well done. Honestly, if that's all they got, I'm not all that concerned. I can take care of that. That's a good problem. Good knowing you fellas. You're about to get wrecked. Very nice. Honestly, defense plus one is pretty decent. I'm not mad about that at all. going to take the purpose for you. Okay, that's fine. You guys move back. I am doing a lot more elite re reinplacement. Oh my gosh. Re reinforcements or replacements simply for the fact that at this stage in the game I don't really want to lose out on... Oh nice. That's really good for artillery. I don't want to really lose out on the many benefits of having more experience, especially as you get to fight more and more German units that have more experience. It's pretty important you yourself have enough experience to continue the fight as well, so... Mm. Well... What is with the freaking half-tracks being so hard to kill? Thank you, that is way more like it. Nice. Okay, I think we mopped up good enough here. I think that situation has now been resolved. So the only thing we really need to worry about is over here with these guys, which is really not looking particularly good. That's really the best we can do with that for now. I mean, you can't do much, so we're just gonna have to run it that way. Okay. That guy is a freaking beast. Man, he's full out beast mode right now. He's gonna die right here. Really? That did not seem very good. Okay. Holy crap. These were some interesting attacks. I mean, that one I fully understand. Down below, they just, they outplayed me, just played me something. There's just nothing I could say that would change that from being what it is. I must have a lot of stuff in reserve. How could he get a rugged defense? That's nonsense, dude. You just got in that trench. I can't have the artillery sitting there like that, so I'm definitely going to have to do something about that. So you what, our commanders are getting a lot of experience pretty quick here. Really? That's a bit of bullshit. No retreat. Hmm. Okay. I mean, honestly, it's fine. It's just interesting. Um. <sighs> situation's not getting any better here. I mean, we have. 
have to bypass them. We don't have time for this. we can with what we got and that's what we got so hopefully we can get down there in time this I think will hold with little effort this as well as not really honestly it's not really scaring me very much so hopefully we'll have what we can get enough that we need I mean oh I didn't realize I was artillery that sucks oh boy Come on. Okay. I'm screwed up down here. I didn't look at them again. Honestly, it's kind of a hope this guy's in there. I might have been able to reinforce a little bit, but it's kind of whatever. Kill this guy. Thank you. Dude, are you kidding me with that crap? Wow, it's a truck for Christ's sake, man. That's pretty freaking ridiculous. pretty good so far. Even though that didn't kill them all, that was still really good. Oh god. Yeah, yeah wasn't great, but it'll work. So he caught us and we caught them. It was supposed to be six, just in case you guys missed that. got four turns left so not really looking particularly good to be honest okay oh gosh I find that pretty sure I'd like to know what the trigger is. Maybe one of you guys knows what the trigger is to set these guys off in order for them to start coming right at you. 
Because if I knew what the trigger was, I wouldn't trigger it until afterwards. I'm guessing the trigger is is when the trucks move past this, would be my guess. But I really don't know, like I said, what triggers them to, to go ape shit on you. Sure. So we need to get through here immediately. Dude, what is with the stupid truck defense? That's getting to the point where it's just getting stupid. Yeah, if that was my truck, I would have took like 10 casualties or some ridiculous crap. If we can pull this off to be perfectly honest it's not looking like I'm gonna pull this shit off but maybe I'll have to get pretty darn lucky this next turn very good, but it's fine, I guess. Oh, man. No aircraft this turn? We're boned. It's over. If we hadn't had that happen, we would have won. Possibly. You know? I shouldn't say we for sure would have won, but definitely would have increased our chances. Without aircraft cover, I mean, it's GG. Hopefully I'll be eating those words soon and I'll regret ever saying it, but I kind of doubt it. Wow. That was half of what we were supposed to get, yet again. That's good. Really? That's really interesting. Apparently there was minefields over here that would have had to clear just to get to this little town here. And uh, I'm glad I didn't go that way because that would have been a disaster.
Jeez, that's one tough unit right there. It's just not taking no crap from anybody. Um. Oh, wait a minute. They're not over here at all. Oh man, we, we actually uh, might have a freaking chance here. I mean, they are over here, they're just not in the spots I need to capture. All we gotta do is defend these guys. Come on, baby. Let's get this crap done. Let's take these SOBs out and be done with it. That's what we need to have happen here. some of this artillery in a little bit. Alright, let's see what happens. That was really good, actually. Yes! I think we did it. Wait, no, we didn't do it. Crap! Because we can't do it. Or can we? Nope. I think we're screwed. Because they captured him, I think we can't do it. Which means instead of capturing... Well, not necessarily. But yeah, instead of capturing that... Airport, I should have captured these instead. Shoot. Oh, that stinks. Oh. It gave me the triumph. So perhaps I don't need to have those captured in order to win? What the heck? Okay, I mean, that was kind of the weirdest one I've ever had happen that way, but... Screw them, we win. That's all that matters, right? Okay, so that's how basically you shouldn't do that map from the looks of it. <laughs> I hope you guys have more luck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did listen, listening to me ramble along and basically think I'm screwed the whole time uh, when in actuality we weren't, please like and subscribe to the video. Check out my other videos in this series as well as some of the other ones if you're interested. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.